Anyway, this looks like a shorter stage, because I'm pretty sure those little paths do pretty much completely follow the thingy. Anyway, I assume this is going to be more useful than the other thing, considering it, like, uses less ammo to do more. Might as well switch to Metal Gear Solid weapon, because I can. These things do too much damage. I RC, but I don't think I RC, so, nah. Oh, well, that might have been what that was for. Luckily, I didn't spend any of that yet. ba balls Okay, well, I can't complain since I didn't die. Not sure why I can't complain. I think that decent warrants for complaining. What do I use to break these? No, an uh, E-Tank I could have gotten if I wanted to risk my death. I guess it would... maybe Crash Man. Okay, I'm gonna see if anything else breaks that, because that would be a huge waste of ammunition. Pellet Beam, right? Yeah. Hornet Beam. Fully charged Hornet Beam. Speaking of huge wastes of ammunition, that wasn't even fully charged, was it? Nope. Nope. And that takes freaking forever to get off the screen. Nope. And nope. Okay, so I just wasted a lot of ammo instead of a lot of ammo. That doesn't hurt me, does it? No good. Okay. What? I could go above them? I don't think I could actually get anywhere through that. That's weird. No, wow, there's like a friggin' item party going on there. You also get to skip hard parts and waste ammunition. Wait, no, you don't have to waste ammunition if you're over there, my bad. Man, they're too... That is a pretty nice reward, I have to say. And you don't even have to make this jump, which isn't a very hard jump, unlike that one to get to the flower mini boss in the Wily stage. What the heck was with that? That was, like, the worst thing I've ever seen in any video game. I mean, like, even con including, like, Kaizo Mario and stuff, that was... I mean, maybe not in and of itself, but with some of the challenges in Mega Man, man I, that was horrible, but anyway. Now to die because of a very easy segment. Oh, well, at least a very easy segment gave me HPs. This would be horrible if they didn't drop anything, but if ifs and ands were pots and pans, I would have an idiom I don't really like. Hooray for wasting invincibility frames. Hooray for thing... Oh, okay, so I have to use a candy pop butt again, even though I don't have enough ammunition to candy pop it. And that would have killed me if I had made it up there, so... That's a... What do I do? Okay, these slowly rise. I did not know that. Except that time this, like, pretty friggin' fabulously. Nope. That's just too much input for me. Sorry. Okay, cool, I made it. Cool, I made it. This requires too much use of items, I'm sorry. What? I thought those were more KOs. I would have been less cautious around them if they weren't. But that probably wouldn't have been a great thing, so what? What would be the point of going on that one? Oh, this is stupid. Um, uh, what? Alright, this thing, I remember hearing of it. I think I was supposed to use a crash... Oh, yes, I was definitely supposed to use the crash bombs for this. Oh, well, it's an interesting concept anyway. Metal blades work too, right? Cool. This reminds me of the bubble thing. I think it's intentional, and oh no. Oh no. Hopefully uh, there was a checkpoint in the last Aeon. Of course not. And yes, I consider about three rooms to be an Aeon. Oh, hey, this thing, so I can charge up basically whatever I want. I want to charge up Crash Bombs, except I don't think that was what I thought it was, although I should probably get more, but, um... Meh. Meh is my train of thought here. Got me through the first several levels. Won't fail me now. Yeah. I should probably grind for ammunition and use such ammunition on my... Oh, wait, never mind. I don't actually need very much ammunition to get up there. What am I talking about? I could theoretically use my new knowledge of the area to get a thingy, but the thingy is only a big health up, and I don't really care about having a big health up. Okay, cool. I didn't even take damage. I'm not sure if you could actually stand between those two, but it seems like it would be a bit pixel perfect. Anyway, can I hack this? 
Uh, so, it, oh, I'm really worried about falling down this side. I'm going to do it because I'm brave. It looks like his foot would smack right into the spikes. Okay, let's... Time for the moment of truth, except I already know exactly how it's going to play out. Well, I wasn't expecting that. And once again, pessimism makes me either pleasantly surprised or correct. Hooray. And I suppose it, like, makes me not very appreciated by some, but those some are babies who don't like real life very much, I guess. Hooray, free stuff. That wasn't a very hard jump at all, considering the kind of reward you get. And do items still respawn when you go off and back on screen like in Mega Man 1? Didn't think so, that's why they gave you so many there. Okay, the that's nice, but the E-Tank is also nice, but... Why pick one or the other, I say? I guess because of that? Is that intentional, or was that just a glitch? Because they could, like, randomly have an invisible wall making you pick which one you want more, but that would be a bit weird and hard to program into an NES game, I suppose. Anyway, is there some punishment for hacking? Nope. You have to have slightly quick reflexes, but I'm okay. And I'm already at the halfway point with four extra lives, nearly full ammunition, and two E-Tanks. Wow, that was not exactly a bad deal. I am feeling a lot more optimistic than I was about that stupid robot dragon. I mean, I already have ice in half of my videos anyway. I don't need any more of that. Yes, I'm just... have to be quiet a little while after I sit inside joke to let it sink in. Anyway, bam, 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 don't have to conserve my saw blades very much because there are too many of them. There is too many of us. I've been making that reference a lot lately. And hooray, now I have my candy pop bud back, which is a horrible, horrible name for it. I don't really care. That's much easier to use for some reason. Uh, I guess I'll switch to the metal blade, no reason to really use otherwise, and I'm um, totally wasting my E-Tanks on this boss, which is not very challenging, just so I don't have to ever be good at it or anything is a good idea, right? Okay, so that's clearly not the way to go, so boy, I don't, that's, I don't actually know how that would be possible. Oh, maybe if you used item 2 from that thing, oh well. Anyway, this reminds me of the vases from Super Mario 2 which is not a good thing if it reminds me of Super Mario 2. And that was a bad strategy. I was about to use an E-Tank, but I got hit before I could press the start button. Oh well. Actually, I probably didn't get hit before I could press the start button, but there were probably saws on screen or something. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, I'm just gonna use crash bombs to get through. That's a good plan, right? Wow, that really was not a very good plan. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have to say, bad plan. Anyway, I'm surprised there's no slowdown here. Okay, if I can get two of them on screen, which I was actually going to say that before it happened, I will switch to the crash bomb just to collect them so I have crash bombs, because crash bombs are more important to me than HPs, although I actually might as well just grind HPs here, unless there's a... No, there's not a finite amount of them. They just keep on coming. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, hey, extra Mega Man. Makes up for my ploopy fail. Yeah, I'm not even trying to make words that sound like words anymore. Come on. Hooray. This is a very, very nice grinding segment, even if it is a little hard to get through unscathed. I mean, if you were doing, like, a challenge run, no damage, first you'd be insane, and I would sort of resent you for liking being good at video games too much. But why is Mega Man's face flickering? And I know exactly why, because there's things on screen and that confuses NES games sometimes. This isn't Rocky Science. Or should I say Pocky Science? And I would... Well, I was sort of going to say, which my good friend Hi... <laughs> Hi Leonardo knows a lot about, based on the Retsu Prey of his Wii Sports Resort thing, where... They were uncharacteristically mean to him for no real reason. But then I would start getting awkward because I'm talking about things that would affect humans, and while I am a good old sociopath and have no emotions, 
I don't understand how to act and it makes me be quiet, not very good at commentary, and actually I'm probably not literally a sociopath, but probably not exactly Mr. Empathy either, and I don't understand when people get sad about things, except when they do and I do understand it, but I like acting like I'm that way anyway because it makes me think I'm a robot and I like robots.